Yes? I'm sorry, the speaker on 9-1. Yeah. Well, I want to congratulate you. Did a wonderful job on Ida. Well, Ida, Ida was a fair lady today. Yes, sir. Well, we, we, uh... We did a little work, and I think it worked out pretty good. Now, I told Halleck that I want to talk to him on foreign aid after I talked to these foreign aid boys. And I said, now, I've read all your speeches, and before you get committed, I don't mind your playing politics on everything but foreign policy. But you said that foreign policy ought to be bipartisan. And I agreed with you, and I went along with Eisenhower. And Eisenhower asked more every damn year than I asked this year, and I didn't ask any more this year than you and you and Otto Passman said we ought to have last year. And the matters are worse this year than last year, so I want to talk to you before you get your people riled up and committed. So he said he would. Yeah. But uh, I don't know whether he will or not. But I just want I, I want to keep. I, I mean, yeah, I, 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 he'll talk with me, but I say I don't know whether I do any good or not. Anyway, I wanted you to know it before. Uh, you just keep it quiet and so forth. Now they got our poverty thing. They're getting it messed up. They all. We got Frank Thompson here with me now, and Jim O'Hare. Yeah. Jim O'Hara. Yeah. And I wanted you to talk with them. All right. One of them to talk with you. All right. I won't talk to them. Put them on. Frank, I put Frank Thompson uh -huh. on and Jim. Uh -huh. Apparently, there's some fellow by the name of uh, of uh, uh, Fuller. There's Doing yep. some gubbing of the word. That's yeah. right. He's going around to everybody. And the NDA, you know, the goddamn them. They've been there for that, years. They they were the ones that licked the higher education. That's right. Before. But they they've got they've got everybody in the country wiring now because it was a terrible mistake for them to start changing the damn bill. They ought yeah, to do well, it. The too. goddamn that those, those, uh, the NDA. Well, uh, I thought they had broadened somewhat. Well, uh, everything was settled until Fuller and the NEA moved in. They tell me. No, no. What what moved in, John? When the, when the, when Kerry moved in to rewrite the bill, that's what got it screwed up. Well, here's Frank anyway, Mr. Right, President. Okay. And Frank and Jim understand basically the situation. Right. I've discussed it with them. Right. But uh, I wanted you to talk them to right. talk with right. you, okay. and then I'll talk with right. you after right. I get another report to make with you to you on the other matter. All right. Wait a minute, Mr. President. President, yeah. Thank you, first of all, for that wonderful speech in Atlantic City. Thank you, Frank. I appreciate it. I hope you didn't mind me coming back and mentioning you a little bit. I won't draw a little no, attention to it. No, not at all. Mrs. Johnson was just wonderful. Well, thank you, Frank. Frank, uh, we can't change that bill. We sent up there. If for no other reason, symbolically, they say the Pope changed it. They're already saying it's a Pope to Spellman to Down. I ran into it today at lunch. They've got every man worked up, and it's already. They may have already killed it. I don't know. Uh, well, well, what we've got to do, in my judgment, is this. Shriver is a Catholic, and he's going to administer that bill, and he's going to make no distinction between any any city that wants anything approved. He can make them do it, whatever, whatever he wants to, or he doesn't approve it. Yes, sir. That's number one. Number two, I'll support him all the way, just like we did the NYA days. We'll... we'll uh, make them go through the boards and make them take care of them uh, where they have them. We, we can even put language in the report that you want in the bill. It'll take care of the same thing. But if we allow these crackpot preachers to get in here and say the Pope has rewritten the bill and we've got a Catholic administrator and we've got a Catholic writing the bill and the Rules Committee made them rewrite it, then we haven't got a stinker's chance. We won't get a third of the votes. We do. That's right. And now what you got to do is get a hold of Kerry and get a hold of Tip O'Neill and get a hold of Jim Delaney and put a paragraph in that report buried down there where the administrator's got to see that the school boards treat uh, every child of every religion, of every race, equally. And then Shriver, under his authority to approve or not approve, can do just exactly like we do now. We won't give a war plant unless they agree not to discriminate. And he can say to them, we won't do this unless you do this for St. Anne's. Yeah. Or we won't do this unless you do this for St. John's. Yeah. And I've told Walter Jenkins and my folks that, and... Uh, I told Bob Pogan, right, Patman, all of them were up, up in arms today, just moving around there. And I said, now, just get the Pope's not coming here to take over yet. Uh, I said, uh, uh, Spellman had...